Yo, what's up guys? JB here, representing JB Extreme Fitness. And today I want to show you guys a few little exercises in the gym and also some exercises that you can implement in your cardio routine. So let's check this out. All right, so if you're like me, uh, doing cardio, doing steady state cardio can get boring from time to time. So I like to do intervals. And when I do the intervals, I use plyometric exercises. So real quick, I'm gonna to put together a, uh, an interval circuit that you can do for your cardio if you get bored doing cardio on the trip. So as you can see, those are sleds, right? So what you want to do if it's an interval, you want to set a timer. So you want to do 30, uh, 30 seconds or a minute on the interval. So here we're going to start off, let's make it five exercises and we'll do one minute each on uh, each exercise. So we're going to start with the sled. So I'll show you how that works. So you would simply push the sled down and then you would go back. Okay, so down and back. Um, you're going to continuously do that throughout the duration of your interval. So if it's 30 seconds, you're going to go down and back continuously, no break. 30 seconds, uh, if it's a minute, you're going to go down and back continuously for one minute, no break. So that's exercise number one. Let's move on. To so the two. second exercise uh, that you can use for your circuit out of the five exercises can be rope drills. All right. So simply just go over to the ground. jumping jack so whatever uh, whatever variation of the rope drill that you want to use you can do that you can change it up once again you do that continuously through the duration of your interval all right so that's two exercises the third one I always like to implement some kind of ab movement so we'll go here hanging like this Once again, you will continuously, whichever variation you use on the angle leg raises, you do that for one minute or 30 seconds, however long your duration of your interval. Alright, another thing you could add. row machine right here. Using a rowing machine, you can use the simple one, the standard, which is here. You can do curls with it, you can do face pulls with it. Underhanded rows, whatever works best for you. Again, so this is going to be the fourth exercise of your interval circuit. Um, so if it's 30 seconds, non-stop for 30 seconds, or if it's a minute, non-stop for a minute. All right, and then one more exercise. It's really cool. All right, so when you do these, you start. That's how you do that exercise. You want to make sure you're in that squat position underneath the tire, lift up, leave your knee under, push it over. So you can be aggressive there. Same thing, one minute. So aggressively, continuously for however long the duration of your interval is. And then, uh, that's five exercises. One more, I'll show you show you some more that you can you can use. We already have five, but uh, it doesn't have to be those exercises. You can use different exercises. This is a box run. We start here on the back. We're going to explode up. It's all. It's all bad. We don't step down. We want to jump down. We land in the squat. The purpose of landing in the squat is to 
protect your knee. So that's one that you can use. Or so these are all exercises that you can use. You don't have to use the ones that I showed you guys, but um, these are very effective exercises that you can use for your interval circuits. Uh, from experience, I think that doing this type of cardio as opposed to doing steady state on the treadmill is more effective at burning uh, burning body fat and uh, building muscle at the same time. So I think it's geared more towards a athletic look versus just specifically burning fat, which is what the steady state uh, stair stepper, the treadmill, the elliptical, the bike, all those stationary exercises that are uh, geared for cardio. So yeah, feel free to use whatever exercises you want to use within your circuits. I always try to make at least put one, one or two plyo, plyometric exercises in the workout that's going to uh, elevate the heart rate a little bit higher. So that's going to be like your box jumps, the tire flip, the, uh, the rope drill that I showed you earlier, and the sled push. I always try to put some kind of core work in. So that would be the uh, hanging leg raises that I did earlier. Or you can do sit-ups, you can do Russian twists, whatever. Planks. Um, and then if there's a certain body part that you want to kind of work in and focus more on, like let's say if it's biceps, you could throw in curls. Uh, if it's leg, you could throw in some kind of squats or jump squats. Uh, just be creative whenever you create your own interval circuits. It doesn't have to be five exercises. That's just one way that I showed you. So let's say uh, that you use five exercises and you're doing one minute intervals, right? So after you complete one round of that circuit, that's five minutes. So if you do six sets, that's 30 minutes. If your cardio is 30 minutes, it'll take six sets to complete the 30 minutes, you know? So just do the math on that. Uh, make it work for you. It doesn't have to be what I did. Make it work for you. Um, but put in the work. So we're at gym five right now. Um, there's a few trainers training. This is a really cool laid back gym to come to. So if you're in the Nashville, Tennessee area, come check this out. This is on Main Street, East Nashville. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some other trainers on here on this video. Let them talk to you guys. For man, Flex Friday. See, there it is. There it is. Nope. So this is a really cool guy. He's a trainer. <laughs> All right, guys. Show you what I'm having to eat here. Basic tilapia kale. Pretty basic, but I'm gonna eat it anyways because I got goals. <laughs> There's Molly over there. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This is my better angle. Anyway, so I didn't get the. How y'all do it? How your girls be doing it? <laughs> anyway, so I didn't get the memo that it was going to be cold today in Nashville. Um, it rained all day yesterday, and the temperature has dropped like by 30 degrees. Um, it's 51 and cold, and I've got shorts and a t-shirt on. I've got errands to run. I need to go home and grab like a hoodie or something, but I really want to get these errands done because if I go home, I'm going to get lazy, and I've got other stuff to do at home. So let's go to the grocery store. So check it out, guys. I've got all the essentials for meal prep. Sweet potatoes, kale, spinach, tilapia, salmon, Fage Greek yogurt, egg whites, Organic peanut butter. We gotta keep that breath fresh. Almond milk. Okay, so grocery shopping is complete. Now I need to go pay these off. Parking violations. Man, I hate those meters. I forgot to pay one. They sent me a letter, $95. Pay them on time. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Wake up in the morning and do cardio. Why? Man, because your boy got goals. It ain't just about doing fitness show. I'm trying to get on the red carpet, though. Yeah.
Man, you gotta get height. Gotta get height. Anyways, I gotta mix up my BCAs and I need another hand, so I see you guys in the gym. All right, so normally when I start my cardio, I'll come in, I'll hit the treadmill, um, I'll put it on the incline of about 12, put the speed on 2.7, and I'll power stroke. So I'll do that usually anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes here lately. Uh, so what I've been doing, let's say let's say then I'm training chest, right? So I'll do this, this part right here, 10 minutes, and then I'll just make up some random like chest and core circuits. So like I'll do high reps, like 30 reps, really lightweight, um, just kind of burn it out. And like, I'll, you know, let's say it's three exercises. So chest press, um, sit ups, or leg raises or something like that. And then I'll have this already set. So the treadmill's already running. Um, at the speed, I'll start the speed at like 6.4, drop the incline back down to 4.0, and I'll sprint for 30 seconds. And then I'll go back to my circuit. I'll hit that, I'll come back over here. And then I'll change the speed, I'll increase it to like 6.6. .6. Every time I come back, I'll increase it. So I'll work my way up to like 7.5 or 8.0. Um, so usually I'll do three circuits and sprints. Then I'll change the circuit. I'll do three uh, three rounds of that circuits, including sprints. I'll change it until 30 minutes ends. So that's one way I do my cardio. So right now you're witnessing me do the power strokes, which is pretty easy for the most part. And like I said uh, earlier in this video, um, stationary cardio specifically especially in a fasted state, specifically just burns body fat. But when you train fasted, when you actually work the muscles in that fasted state, then you're getting a two for one. So it, it definitely works. Uh, I started, I, I, started, I did this last summer um, after I was competing. And um, if you, you can flip through my Instagram and see, but I was able to stay lean like all the way through the summer, even after the show. And that's what I was doing. I was doing this, and uh, I was including compound exercises or just random exercises into my cardio with the sprints, with core, in the morning, all fasted, and it you know it kept my physique up. Like it's pretty dope. I'm running out of breath, but hey, different things work for different folks. That's what they say. It works for me. Sprints, a little bit of resistance. Mix it all in one circuit, it's still interval training. It's called HIT, high intensity interval training. More bang for your buck in that 30 minutes or 40 minutes, however long. That's all you really need if you're grinding. Anyways, let me put this down so I can get back to it. I got my, let me show you what I'm looking at. So, as soon as I hit the door, I put the headphones on, and usually I got some kind of motivation in my ear. Um, that motivation, I'm telling you, that's the major key. Having that motivation in your ear while you're doing cardio, first thing in the morning, you haven't talked to anybody. Man, it changes the whole way you see the day. So if you can start the day off like that, man, you set yourself up for success. So, I mean, music is great. It gets you moving, but man, something about that motivation, it's like, it sticks up in here all day. And that's why like, I post what I post, and I, I try to practice what I preach. All right, anyways, let me get back to this. Industry Ready Production, psbeats.com. What's up guys? 
So I'm dressed for the occasion. My cousin is graduating college today. And look where I am. I used to live here uh, two of the years that I was in college. There it is, the woods at Greenland. So that's one of the buildings. Um, it goes back a little further. But anyways, it's crazy. Like when I first came to uh, this school, MTSU, back in 2007, that was 10 years ago. That's crazy, super crazy. But hey, everything's still good. Still looking young, still in shape, still fly, you know. I think I would have to try to not be. Just kidding. Anyways, I got a little walk. I'll check you guys later. Our National Alumni Board Association President, Mr. Don Witherspoon, and his wife, Hannah. Say hi, Tony. Okay. Hi. It's gonna be on my YouTube. It's gonna be on YouTube. Jasmine. Yes, you gotta say hi. Say hi. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. It's my two cousins. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, just finished up graduation, the ceremony for my little cousin. I'm very proud of her. Um, we're all about to meet up for a reception at Patterson Park Community Center. But first, but first, because it's been about three hours before I've had something to eat. And I did, I forgot to show you guys earlier. But um, so I had my breakfast. I had that in here. And I plan ahead. So there's no excuses, guys. When you're like, oh, I didn't have... No excuse. So I've got my meal prepped. It's ready. It's the right temperature I'm gonna eat that before because I don't know what exactly they're having at the uh, reception and I have goals right now so um, just summertime got to get right got to get right got to get tight so sticking to the plan I may have a little something there um, but I'm definitely getting my original meal in as planned so see you guys later <laughs> Sunday fun day anyways uh, so you just saw some footage of uh, my cousin's graduation that's my mom's sister's daughter um, we're all extremely proud of her for her success and accomplishments on getting her degree that is awesome um, so last night I decided to go out and have a few drinks with some friends I don't normally drink or at least I don't drink that often um, whenever I do drink I try to keep the calories as low as possible now keep in mind Alcohol by itself, just pure alcohol by itself has seven calories per gram. All right, so if you're getting beer or if you're getting like mixed drinks that has like cranberry, like cranberry vodka, if you're getting all that kind of stuff, you're getting extra calories on top of that uh, seven, uh, seven calories per gram. So keep that in mind. So when I go out, what I order, I always order soda water vodka. So it's, it's kind of like a carbonated water and like uh, I'll get the flavored vodka so when you order it, it's like raspberry soda water I don't know raspberry soda something like that or you can get blueberry soda like so flavored vodka and then soda water and like it's not the best tasting thing in the world but hey, if you're trying to keep those calories low you're trying to stay nice and lean like that's the route to go and I'm not and I'm not encouraging you guys to drink I'm just saying that's what works for me another tip um, cause I'm, I'm getting a little older, so it's not, it's not the same as when I was younger. The hang, you know, the recovery time is a lot faster when you're younger. So hangovers suck. So I discovered something on a, on a cruise. Um, so this was like, this was in 2015. So about a week and a half after I finished competing, um, for that season, um, I went on a cruise anyway. So on a cruise, 
I mean, um, there's lots of eating because it's all you can eat. You can eat all day if you want to. Um, and that's what I was all about. I was about the eating part and doing a little drinking as well. So I was used to, from competing, I was used to waking up in the morning and doing fasted cardio. So I discovered, um, I discovered this on a cruise. This is one quick tip or one tip to get rid of a hangover quickly. So if you go out and drink um, one night and then the next morning, the first thing you want to do, wake up. I would have a little bit of black coffee. That's it. And then I would just start doing cardio, start sweating out all that alcohol that's in, in your system and my system. Um, and then I would work out like right after I would do. I would put a protein shake in between um, the cardio and the workout. So like an hour and a half, maybe of cardio and the workout. So, yeah, I would wake up. I would have my black coffee. I would do my 30 minutes of cardio. Uh, and then I would have a shake immediately after finishing the cardio. I, I may rest like five or 10 minutes and then I would lift for like 30 to 45 minutes after that. And what I discovered was not only did I burn some of the calories from the alcohol off, I actually sweated out most of the alcohol and felt better after all that was done. Now during, it may not be that pleasurable during, but it, it I mean, it helps, it works. It's not gonna totally get rid of it, but it helps. Cause you know, like if you, you have like a you know you go ham the night before with your friends or whatever um you know you have a few drinks um and you wake up and it's like man it's like a total setback you just you don't feel like doing a lot like your head's not on right you know like you may have a headache stomach issues whatever you just feel drowsy but that helps um sweating all that alcohol out that helps so that's just one of my tips anyways it may maybe it only works for me i don't know try it let me know um so anyways, um, today I woke up and just did a normal day. So today's a rest day, no cardio today. Um, all right, so another, another tip, water. Make sure you drink plenty of water. Hydrate yourself so that you uh, produce that diuretic hormone so that you can urinate, you know, get, all, get everything out of your system. Um, detox that's the word um, so what this is in my water I use true lime so it's flavoring and this is so it's 100% natural ingredients and it's sweetened with stevia so it's good stuff so anyways uh, got my task list man I'm trying to be on top of my game guys you gotta you gotta micromanage things if you want to win at life you know like you can't just have one area like why not have all areas good like you know what i mean is be well rounded so the gym the gym is awesome like you know what i mean if you if you're in the gym great if you're um you know if you're on a meal plan or something like are you eating clean you're watching what you eat awesome but there's other parts of your life that needs worked on as well time management man that is key um, that's one thing that I struggle with sometimes. I think we all do. It's just time. It's the one thing you have to make time. Nobody, no one has time. You have to make it. So for me, what helps is having a having a task list or having a schedule to follow. Um, so today, I'll be having my normal meals, um, and then I'll probably add in a cheat meal um, tonight. Um, keep in mind, I did so. I didn't show you footage of. Uh, the uh, reception my cousin's reception yesterday um, so they were serving uh, chicken ribs burger cake green uh, baked beans potato salad so I had a little bit of that not even gonna lie but it's all good um, I'm not competing at this moment but I am trying to get leaner um, so if you if you have those extra calories make sure you burn those off that's how you do that so um, you can burn that off with in one single session of cardio however long that takes however many calories it was that you uh, took in from your cheat meal or whatever if you splurged on something or you can just add an additional like five to ten minutes every day and over time you will you know in the course of a week you will have burnt off the calories that you've taken in so another tip full of tips guys full of keys so yeah, um, another few weeks on the current plan, current meal plan that I'm on, and I will reveal the package that I have. Um, it's not gonna be show ready, so I'm not gonna be as ripped and peeled 
as you're used to seeing me like whenever I compete, but I will be whole ready in the words of Chris Jones. What is whole ready, JB? Whole ready, it means the hoes are looking. Just kidding. Uh, so what that means, whole ready, the term whole ready, what that means is at the pool, you are lean. You are, you're under at least for a male, you're under 10% body fat. Abs are showing, serratus is showing, obliques are showing, like you're lean, veins, like lean. The hoes are looking, just kidding. But uh, yeah, um, that's, that's the update as far as that. Um, I may do a show later in this year, I don't know. It's just whenever I feel like doing one, I will do a show. It's one of those things, like competing, because people keep asking me, they're like, when is your next show? Are you competing? And I'm like, man, at the moment, like I'm working on other things, you know, like there's more to life than just doing shows. So um, a lot of people, I think a lot of people get in it, get in it to go pro. I do want to go pro at some point, but my reasons for going pro has changed. I don't want to be a professional. I don't want to do that for a living. Um, men's physique, I mean, they... When you look at it over time, they don't really make that much. I'm like, I can just work harder. I can look great, <laughs> look very pheno look phenomenal, you know what I mean? And make way more money, like without competing. So competing is it's a 24 seven job, you know what I mean? And you pay to do it. It's a 24 seven job. You wake up, you got to get on the grind for cardio. You got to get every single meal, nothing else. Like you got to say no to everything. Like, you, you know what I mean? You got to say no to all the obligations. It's like, why not? Why don't I trans, uh, transmute that into my grind? You know what I mean? Like, why don't I transmute that into my business? That's what makes sense. I can still look great while I'm doing that. But if someone, you know, if someone comes in town, like, I can rearrange my plans. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, let's, let's get out. Or let's go have this meal. You know what I mean? And it's not when I'm competing. That's what I'm doing. I'm all in 100 percent. Like that's what I'm doing. I'm not competing and go, trying to go out on the weekend. I'm not competing and trying to go get cake and donuts and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm all in. You got to be all in if, if you want to compete, man. People people hit me up all the time thinking they want to compete until they see that meal plan. And they're like, damn, this is what I got to do seven days a week, every day, all day. Yep. I got to do this much cardio. Yep. I got to eat this. Yep. I can't eat that. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. But shout out to everybody that is competing. I will be back. You will see me again. I just don't know when. I don't have a date for you as of now. Okay. Um, some other things that I want to do. So I'm using my phone um, to record this right now. Um, if any of you guys have any suggestions of a really cool camera it has really great quality especially especially in selfie mode so that I can do these vlogs for you guys comment below let me know what that is so I can go look that up um, also I want to do some collabs uh, with this channel so Marcus uh, G fit I think that's his I think that's his uh, YouTube name um, me and him uh, we've We've been talking about doing a collab for a while. There's some other guys within the who's your favorite who's your favorite fitness person within the Nashville area? Comment below like if you want to see a collab, like we can get that workout in. Or if you're watching and you're trying to get that, you know, get that collaboration, let's make it happen. Um, we can set this thing up and give the people what they want, you know? Um, yeah, if you got ideas, comment below. Don't be thinking by the way, don't be thinking I fell off because I'm not competing. Wrong. Still got it, baby. So that's another thing. As far as leaning out. So leaning out and building muscle. So when you lean out, there's a risk of losing some of your gains. It's just part of the process. Unless you slow as pop, like slowly as possible lean out. So that would mean gr um, gradually decreasing the amount of calories that you're intaking over time. And then you will gradually get leaner um when you build muscle you're gonna put on a little bit of body fat over time so here's the thing um whenever you lean out it's better to to be in the middle you know what i mean you don't want to lean out too fast because if you're 
if you're getting shredded, not shredded, but if you're losing over two pounds in a week, you're gonna lose some muscle. Unless unless you're on some stuff, like you're gonna you're gonna lose some muscle. It's just two pounds. So keep that in mind. One to two pounds, and that's a lot. Like people underestimate how much a pound of fat is. If you don't know, Google it. Just type in, go to Google, type in image, put it under images and type in one pound of body fat. It's pretty, it's a lot. You know what I mean? Like, so don't, don't take that for granted. If you lose, if you lose a pound, celebrate that. That's a big deal. Um, and another thing, so the weight on the scale is, is kind of irrelevant. Um, if that's what you care about, because people are all the time like, I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to lose 20 pounds. Or I want to lose 15 pounds. That's a lot of weight, but think about the body fat percentage. You know what I mean? Like, so if you're, if you're a male, if you're a guy and you're, let's say you're 18% body fat, instead of focusing on the actual weight on the scale, focus on the body fat. Try to get the body fat. If you're 18, try to get it down to like, 14 or 12 you know what i mean that's gonna look better than the actual weight on the scale because it can be influenced by so many things like um if your body's holding water hormones like so much so many different things um and just keep this in mind you know like if you're let's say you weighed 180 today and then tomorrow you wake up and you're 187 187 all of a sudden you did not gain seven pounds of body fat overnight it just doesn't happen like that you would literally have to try to do that to make that happen so keep that in mind usually that's it you're just your body's just holding some water water weighs as well you know so keep that in mind guys when you're trying to when you're trying to lose weight don't get uh don't get discouraged by the scale um you know if you're take pictures of yourself so that you can see your progress um get someone to measure you so that you can also see the changes uh, on the measure on the measuring tape or you can use a skin fold caliper or if there's body fat testing somewhere get that done like and that's more that's more accurate than the scale i really don't care about scale scales just it's just um it's just something good to use as a measurement tool to give you an idea of where you might be all right i hope that helps anyways catch you guys okay later. guys so here's what i'm having for my cheat meal I'm going to have the apple pecan chicken salad from Wendy's. I'm, I'm very basic, by the way. I'm going to have the double cheeseburger, medium fry, and then I got a McFlurry from Mac, uh, Mickey D's. So very basic ch cheat meal. Okay, guys. So there you have it. That's my cheat meals. Very basic. I know. Don't judge me. Whatever. Sometimes the simplest thing. Sometimes in life, the simplest things are the best things. Think about it. But anyways, uh, I'm going to enjoy my cheat meal, relax. I have a long day ahead of me tomorrow, so I'm going to get things ready for that and get some sleep. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I um, hope we learned something. Comment below if you have any questions or suggestions about anything that I talked about or covered in this uh in this video uh, make sure you like this video share it with a friend and if you haven't guys please subscribe to my channel um, and one last thing um, so once again i'm a rep for bpi sports so if you need supplements make sure you use my code jbuchanan online at bpisports.com that's going to save you 20 percent off um I'll, really, I'll greatly appreciate that guys if you do that but if you don't we're still cool okay <laughs> so anyways guys have a great week Make sure you set goals and set smaller goals within those goals that lead to the big goal. All right. Kill it, guys.